Hello and welcome to the session on advanced working with meshes for the Plexis LE software. Today we would like to cover a number of topics related to advanced working with meshes. Some of the topics include converting from non-index to index meshes, detecting issues in meshes and walking through how to fix them. We will look briefly at translation, scaling and rotation. We will look at generating meshes and remeshing to improve mesh quality. We will also take a look at adjusting overlaps as well as reducing the number of nodes in meshes in a few different ways. It should be noted that mesh data in Plexus Designer may be stored in one of two possible formats. Index meshes are the result of two separate lists comprised of a list of all vertices with each vertex having an X, Y and Z coordinate. Indexed meshes have a list of elements defining how the vertices are connected into triangles. Non-index meshes are formed by a single list where each consecutive group of three vertices form a triangle. The difficulty with non-index meshes is that there is a significant amount of vertex duplication in the list. Therefore, for performance reasons, it is recommended to use index meshes. Functionality exists in the software to convert a non-index mesh to an index mesh after import of a non-index mesh. The software by default highlights boundary edges in red when a surface object is selected. It is possible that there are ill-formed elements or holes in the mesh, which will result in interior red lines in the mesh. It may be necessary for the user to fix mesh issues such that subsequent problems are not created in representing surface meshes in a model and the subsequent generation of volume meshes. In order for the user to fix issues in the mesh, they must manually delete problematic vertices or elements and use one of the mesh fixing functions. Such functions are found under the actions data reduction functions as remove overlap points, remove duplicate points, or apply merge distance. It is also worth noting that meshes and grids can be translated, scaled, or rotated with available functionality in the software. Such functionality is available by right-clicking on the object and selecting the appropriate translate, scale, rotate function under actions. The remeshing option in the software is used to improve the element shaped quality and surface meshes, increase or decrease node density, and smooth outer surface mesh. There is a difference between a surface mesh that accurately represents a surface in 3D and a mesh that is acceptable for potential use as a finite element solution. The remeshing function is useful for converting a functional surface mesh to a mesh with well-formed elements that would be better suited for finite element analysis. The software also contains a mesh generate function which can be used to combine multiple objects into a single mesh. An example of this might be to combine a mesh and a polyline into a single mesh. It is possible that an existing partial mesh is available and there are known surface elevations at a different location. The mesh generate function may be used to combine the two objects into a single well-defined mesh. It should be noted that the edges from the input objects are kept where possible in the resulting mesh. The quality of the mesh constraints are controlled by the tools, mesh settings dialog. It is common that there may be overlap between two surfaces that need to be solved. The adjust overlap function allows such resolution. To surface can be selected and the software allows corrections to the overlapping regions. An example of this is the example shown where a geological surface might intersect an open pit surface. The user may want to adjust the geologic surface to wrap underneath the elements for the open pit. The adjust overlap functions can be utilized to ensure the elements for the open pit wrap underneath the pit. 
Many times a mesh object might be received in the software with too many points to be manageable. Therefore, the merge distance, remesh, and filter data, and also crop with boundary functions, allow the number of node points in a service to be greatly reduced. The merge distance function merges vertices that are less than a user supplied distance away from each other into a single vertex. The remesh option develops a different mesh based on the original mesh as well as meshing constraints. The filter data option may be used to eliminate elements that lie inside or outside user specified region. The crop with boundary function splits elements along the user specified regions that the exact region boundary is followed by the surface.